What's goody, what's goody? It's your boy Smolito, Smolito's way. Once again, coming at you with another video. Talk my shit real quick, yo. Just sit down and listen. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Show a little love, show a little support. It don't hurt, trust me. And doing this, that shit don't hurt. But anyway, look, man. Um, Talking about this Friday situation with Ice Cube. Now, if you're from the culture, listen, you don't even have to be from the culture. I think that Friday's an all-around classic, and I, and whether you're from the streets or whatever, Friday is funny as fuck. I think all of them were good in their own in their own right. You know, um, they're classic. They're classic movies. I grew up on them, and I'm sure a lot of people, even the younger generation now, that's you know, young kids, ten, eleven years old, know about Friday because their parents put them on because it's that good of a movie. You know, um, so apparently uh, Ice Cube is having trouble. Warner Brothers is refusing to give him the copyrights to Friday. They don't want to they don't want to make a sequel to the movie. And I guess um, Ice Cube does. He wants to continue on with the legacy and keep going with him. And it's crazy to think about it. But it's been almost 20 years since fucking fr Friday after next, like. Damn, that shit is a long time ago. I didn't even realize how long ago it was, but I love that movie. That movie's funny as hell. Um, so yeah, it's been about twenty years, and like I said, Ice Cube apparently wants to carry on with the tradition, and you know he he wants to he wants to keep it going. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people. I've seen interviews with with uh Chris Rock, um Chris Rock, uh, Chris Tucker, and you know he says that people constantly ask him about doing a sequel. You know if he's gonna be in a sequel, if they're doing a sequel, whatever. Like I said, it's one of those iconic movies that, you know, people people love no matter what. And to make better, to make things better, I mean, it's one of the few movies that it, all three of them were official. Like the first one was funny, the second one was funny, and the third one was funny. I liked all of them. I don't have no complaints about either one of them. Um, that being said, man, it brings me to a larger point. Now, I seen interviews, and I'm sure you guys, some of you have probably seen the interviews that uh, Dame Dash. He was on The Breakfast Club a few years back, and he was getting into a back and forth with DJ Envy. And his greater point was pretty much that if you don't own it, it it's never yours. You're working for somebody. So think about it like this. Ice Cube wrote those movies. Like, those movies came from him. Him, and I'm sure maybe he had a couple of dudes helping with some of the writing or whatever, but that was his idea. It came from here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's his own thing. And when you... But once you give that up and you sign on that dotted line, um, everything goes out the window from there. Now, you no longer own it. It goes from here to wherever that is. You know, and I think that people should keep that in mind. That, you know, a lot of people took what Dame Dash was saying as he's arrogant, he's an asshole, whatever, whatever. I listened to it and I thought about it and it, what he said was real. It's like, if you don't own something, you're just working for somebody at the end of the day. And you know, like, like it's nothing. And, and, and not to say anything's wrong with work, because listen, we all got to pay bills. So it is what it is. But I'm saying in a person like Ice Cube's position and in a lot of people's position now, I think it's just up, man. Y'all make millions, tens of millions of dollars. Y'all worth net worth is over a hundred million sometimes in some cases what the fuck y'all need these production companies for anymore what do you need warner brothers for what do you need sony for what do you need anybody for like that's why i was I'm, I'm not a big tyler perry fan i don't think his movies are all that funny i like a couple of them or whatever you know what i'm saying i like um the 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 a couple of his shows that he put out um, but I'm not overall. I'm not a huge Medea fan and all that shit. But what I will say and what I respect about him is that motherfucker made his own path. He has his own production studio. He has his own production company. He is the end all, be all when it comes to his shit. Nobody can tell him what to do, how to do it, or when to do it. That man is his own boss. Real, real shit. You can't tell you, like, when you on that level, they can't stop you. I mean, he's, he's not the first to reach the money, like, you know, the capacity of money that could be, that could have done all this.
but he's the first one to really do it and have balls to do it as a black man, as a minority. Salute to that man, freeing himself of all the shackles and all the bullshit and all the red tape that look at what Ice Cube, Ice Cube is ultra successful. We're not talking about a dude that got a million dollars in the bank. Nah, Ice Cube is probably, I didn't look up his net worth, but ballparking it, he's up over a hundred million. He got to be. But that being said, as much money as that seems to be, he's pigeonholed and fucking crippled by these billionaires. Because they say, your hundred million don't mean shit in the grand scheme of things. Like, these motherfuckers is, is all the way up. And not more over than that, you signed over those rights. So guess what? Fuck you. Fuck your fans. Fuck how you feel about it. We're going to do what we want to do on our time. And right now, we don't see it as, a, as an option to do another sequel. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, people, if you can afford to do it on your own, do it on your own. So that you can be financially free and free of all the bullshit, you run your company how you see fit. You do the things that you want to do how you want to do it. You don't have to go back and explain and try to beg for somebody to, you know, sign over rights. Nah, nah. Salute to Tyler Perry, man. A lot of people ain't giving him. That man is a pioneer. And I'm waiting for somebody to do it in the end in the music industry. Like y'all all got y'all own labels, but y'all all under Sony, y'all all under all this bullshit, all these other these other, other umbrellas. I'm waiting for somebody to say, fuck this bullshit. We don't need y'all to produce. We don't need y'all to distribute. We don't need y'all to do shit. We just gonna do it on our own. You know what I'm saying? And make your own shit like Jay-Z did. I mean, pretty much he did with the title, the title and all that shit. Like he he made some major moves. Respect to him too. But it needs to be more of that. More people need to take the initiative and go out and say, you know what? I don't need you. I'm going to do what I got to do for me. And I'm going to pave the way. And if I, you know, you got to bet on yourself sometimes, man. So listen, man, I just, you know, felt that that was sad. It's sad to me because, like I said, Friday is a movie that I love. I grew up watching it as a kid. And I'm sure a lot of people that watch this video or whatever, they're going to feel the same way. And yeah, I would like to see another one come out. But will we see another one come out? It's not looking good, people. Why? Because Ice Cube signed over those rights. And once you do that, all bets are off. So look, man, this is your boy Smallito. Just, you know, coming to you with a couple of brief thoughts about Friday and, you know, the culture. You can follow me on IG, Young OG 3000. Obviously, like, hit, like, subscribe, you know. Hit the notification button, all that, man. I do this on the daily. I'm always dropping videos. And, you know, sometimes it's about craziness that's going on in the world. And other times I just talk, I keep it light. But it is what it is. Y'all be good out there, man. Stay blessed.